welcome back to KP's Kingdom, cooking with KP. And today I'm going to show you how I make my stir fried pork with bok choy and water chestnuts. All right, really nice, easy family meal, this one, and your kids will love it. All right, let's start off. So in a bowl, I'm adding in about two tablespoons of a good quality soy sauce, just like that. I'm also going to add in a tablespoon of Xiaojing wine or Chinese cooking wine. I'm also going to add in the equivalent of two tablespoons of oyster sauce, maybe a hair more, up to you if you wish. I'm also going to add in the equivalent to one clove of garlic, but I'm just using my garlic paste. I'm going to put in around about a teaspoon of sesame oil and we're going to need some honey here and a good tablespoon, maybe a tablespoon and a half of honey. We're also going to add in a teaspoon of good Chinese five spice powder. I'm just going to give that a nice little mix up like that. And here's a nice little hint for you with your oyster sauce. Leave it out for about half an hour. Let it come up to a room temperature. All right. Now, here I've got some beautiful, nice, thin pork steaks little pork fillet steaks. I'm just going to put these or cut these into nice little slices like I'm doing there and they're going to go straight into that bowl. All right. And if you can't uh, if you can't find uh, these types of steaks you can actually find some pork schnitzel sometimes in your supermarket with your butcher and uh, that will also work quite well. Now put that all into the marinade and make sure you stir it up really well and what we want to do is we're going to leave this for half an hour to two hours to really get those flavors into that meat and that meat will change its texture a fair bit. Right, so nice big fry pan or wok, about a tablespoon and a half of peanut oil and we're just gonna fry this off, this pork off very, very quickly, very briefly in batches. Do not overcook it. It's a really nice tender cut of meat and if you cook it too much, it will go very, very hard and firm and you won't enjoy it at all. So we're just going to quickly stir fry those off, as I said. It's only going to take about two, maybe three minutes. Remove that from the pan, put that into a bowl over on the side, just like I'm done there. And we're just going to continue cooking these off in batches. Now, making stir fries is quite easy. And if you follow these instructions, it will taste like it just came straight out of a restaurant. Believe me. All right, all our pork is done. And what I've got now is one medium sized onion that I've just quarter cut, a little bit of that Xiaojin wine straight on top of the onions. It gives it an incredible flavor and helps those onions cook off a little bit quicker. We just want those to go translucent, like we've done there, and they can go straight into the bowl with the pork, just like that. All right, so here I've got the bok choy. Now these are the stems of the bok choy that are finely diced, or sorry, finely sliced, and I've got one can of water chestnuts that have already pre-sliced and that saves you a lot of extra work if you buy the pre-sliced versions. And we're just going to stir fry these off in that pan like we're doing there. Mm. This is so easy. It is so healthy. Really nice light meal. You can serve this with some noodles or you can even serve it with some rice. It doesn't matter what sort of rice. You could go a brown rice or a white rice. It's up to you. Now we can put in the greens of the bok choy and we're going to let that start to wilt down and that's only going to take a few seconds or so, it's going to take about 45 seconds thereabouts. We can now add our pork and onion back into our mixture like that. Now in the meantime I've also added a little bit of soy sauce and some corn flour mixed with a little bit of water and uh, some oyster sauce, so about two tablespoons, there we go two tablespoons of the soy sauce, about a tablespoon of that oyster sauce, and a good teaspoon of that rice wine, and also a teaspoon of the corn flour. And that's gonna make up a nice little sauce for us, just to coat everything like that. And as you can see, that sauce has thickened up quite quickly. How easy was this to make? There you go, KP's stir fried pork, bok choy, and water chestnuts. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. If you liked this video, hit that like button. It gives me confidence. It should make you feel warm and fuzzy too. Hit that notification bell. Sometimes you'll be notified when a video goes up. We'll leave that up to YouTube. But more importantly, I want you to come and join the family, my family. Hit that subscribe button and you'll never miss another one of my videos again. I will catch you next time.
Bye.